It's on? Okay. Hey, yo, I tell him, it's the slanted one. Yeah, it's the chinky dude. If the girl got whirls of curves, I'm right there like chingy dude. Set up the reps, I'ma conquer the steps like a slinky dude. I'm all about the cream and the cakes, I make twinkie moves. Don't sleep on me, all your praise you heap on me. Smart enough to see the shepherd from the sheep, homie. Lot of persistence to my existence, no flim flam farmer gon' reap on me or off me. Light skin like the creamer, but my soul and my demeanor, it be blacker than the coffee. My nature just naughty, word to treats Vinny and KG. My sound beat the eardrum up, word to Sway Lee. You can't play Kenny, I'm more than a Slim Jimmy, my bars hit harder than some absent. Chase with a shot of Remy. Run my mouth so much it been ran, that's no stimpy. It's K serious, and when I'm in Philly, I keep the Aki's tripping. But when I'm in Cali, you can catch me with Pope Politicking. Uh huh. PopePolitikin.com. Welcome to PopePolitikin.com, your number one source for hip hop without the politics. PopePolitikin is your MTV raps. Meets Reading Rainbow, meets Dr. Phil, or something like that. Follow Poe Politikin on all social media at Poe Politikin. That's at P O P O L I T I C K I N. Welcome back to PoePolitikin.com, your home for self help meets hip hop. Make sure you go on Spotify, Apple Music, Google Play. This summer, our podcast since 2011. 1212, I'm in the place to be with Mark Houghton. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Good to be on. Good to be on. Did I say your name right? Perfect, man. Mark Houghton. Got it. Yeah, I had to look it up on YouTube how to pronounce it. <laughs> uh, let me start. I'll be killing these people's names, but I, said, I got to start looking these people's names up how to say it right so I ain't messing them up. It's good, man. It's all good. And I was reading, it says you're a uh, prosperity and abundance coach and use uh, quantum yeah. use quantum physics <laughs> yeah, for a law of attraction. Yes, yes. Basically, uh, quantum physics is the science of how all things come into existence. And uh, neuroscience is basically the study of the nervous system and the brain. So I teach individuals how to tap into their true selves to realize their true power and create whatever they want uh, to attract it using your subconscious mind and the laws of the universe. And then I kind of want to, uh, even before we uh, go into that more, I want to, like, peel back a layer. I want to even know, like, so how did you get into this? Like, let us know before, you know, your awakening, right, right. your journey. How did you get into this? Okay, well, you know, I was always interested in how things work, you know, how people get what they get, why people don't get what they get. I always noticed, okay, why do some people have it and some people don't? What's the difference? What are we doing? Are we doing something wrong? So I started to ponder that, you know, ever since I was, I was young, I would always uh, very, very perceptive. I can pick up energy. And I, I, when I was young, I just thought it was weird or something was wrong with me. Uh, but what I didn't realize what a, was a greater uh, spectrum was going on. But as I got older, um, so I started, you know, I went to school. I went to become a chef. I was a very uh, good sous chef here in uh, South Florida. I worked for a major hotel. And... Um, so numbers would usually appear to me all the time, and I say, "Why are these numbers following me?" And uh, one night, I, I just think we remember about uh, three years ago. Yeah, three years ago, I got up in the middle of the night, man, and I had this really—I don't, I don't know how to describe it. Was it a? I don't know if it was a headache or a, some kind of just felt like a tension in my head. Mm. So anyway, um, I didn't think anything of it, and I went to work the next morning. And, uh, you know, as the, uh, you know, the managers, we have meetings, so we always count on food costs. So I'm in, I'm in the meeting with the, uh, food and beverage director. And then uh, of course the, uh, executive chef and myself. So we always do our budgets and we use this, this program. I think it was called Quicken where you mm -hmm. can uh, crunch numbers up to put your, uh, the monthly quota for your food costs. Da, da, da. So we started doing it, man. And I, all of a sudden, I basically did the whole calculations in my head. I don't know how I did it. And I put it down. And everybody was, everybody looked and said, wow, I was amazed. How do you do it? And ever since then, I just started to really get into physics, how the universe works. I'm able to read books. When I, if you give me a book, I can skim through the whole book. I don't have to read the chapters in the book. I just skim through the entire book and I already know what the subject is about. And I, I not only know it, but I can understand it completely. 
So to make a long story short, I realized my gifts. Okay, I'm here to be a teacher to help others to uh, improve their lives and learn their consciousness. So how did I do it in my life? Well, when I got that awakening, um, prior to that, I was focusing on visual visualization and meditation. I was kind of creating my own method. So I started to do it with the lottery. So, you know, I, there was this beautiful car that I love, and I'm sitting in it right now. It's uh, my this is an M3, an E46 uh, M3. It was that car yellow. And I wanted the car so bad, the style and everything. And I thought to myself, how can I get this car? So then I said, you know what? Let me put into practice what I've been developing and I'm learning. Because in science, in our universe works, it says that everything exists in um, what we call uh, matter or use as physical stuff. But the quantum component of these things are as electrons. So everything has an electron. So basically, you and I, we're flesh and blood. And if you break our bones down, our blood, we have molecules. You break the molecules down, they become cells. You break the cells down, they become atomic particles. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I said, okay, if this is true... Then let me use it. So to make a long story short, man, I did it, and I won the lottery, and I bought the car cash. That's when I realized I am on to something here, and I need to teach and help individuals. So at that time, I started to, to create a YouTube channel. I did the YouTube channel just, just to help people. I didn't plan on you know, going big. I just wanted to share what I knew. And then um, it just took off, man. So I teach individuals how the law of attraction works, how your mind, particularly your subconscious mind, how it can hold you back, and you have no idea because it operates unconsciously. And uh, so that's what I do. I help individuals to break free, to realize that they can create anything they want. If it's money, relationships, a business, you want ideas, it's all there because exists in within you is another part of you that you only have a glimpse of. It's known as your higher self. It speaks to you through intuition. People call, people would call it, well, it, it's uh, God, the spirit of God, or you know, God consciousness, whatever you want to call it. It's there within you at all times. You just have to learn to access it. That's my basic, what I do. I teach you how to access it, use it to create a, a life of uh, whatever you want. And what, how many years have you been doing this so far, coaching and everything? Well, I started, I've been doing this myself for about, Five to seven years, secretly to myself. But when I, I just started to bring it out within the past, this is going to be my third year. Uh, yeah, July past is my third year of just uh, having a commercial out, teaching it and putting it out so everyone can learn and use it. Yeah, I wanted you to kind of uh, like describe like kind of your daily rituals, like how like I guess how you wake up, you know, go to sleep. What do you right. do? Okay, so the thing that you're going to learn that you have to learn is this that. Every day we get up and we, we think we're thinking, right? Mm -hmm. here's, the, here's the truth. We are operating in what we call program, your subconscious mind. So we're in a trance state. You know, when you, put you, when you get hypnotized, it's a trance. A trance state <clears throat> is not something where you just, I don't know what's going on. A trance state is a kind of a lux. You're in this like lux state and you're operating on program. So what you have to understand is that when you get up in the morning and you say, Okay, what am I going to do today? Okay, I'm going to plan my day. That's not thinking, man. That's already written. It's a program that you picked up from when you were young. Mm -hmm. So you have to learn to break that ritual. So that's what I did. I broke the ritual by becoming aware and targeting my subconscious mind. So every day, I focus my thoughts on anything that makes me feel good. Mm -hmm. If you can focus your mind on what you want instead of what you don't want, that's where you ship what is known as your vibration. So a vibration is basically an electromagnetic field spectrum. Everything that operates in the universe. Vibrations emit from our feelings. When you get a feeling, it creates an emotion. That emotion creates a pulse of energy that's invisible to our naked eye. And that energy becomes an electromagnetic spectrum. It goes out into what we call the universe, and it must attract its component. So let's say every day you get up and you start to think about how grateful you are for what you have. Uh, how you how you like to have this business started or anything or even even if your current reality doesn't match it, what happens is your subconscious mind picks that up as real as happening. It goes out and brings it. So my ritual every day is I always keep my thoughts on something that makes me feel good or something that makes you put it on what you want. Do not focus your thoughts on what you 
don't want because that's a vibration and that you're going to attract that. But that's my ritual. I always start my ritual with, uh, every day, uh, getting up, doing that. And then uh, throughout the day, I meditate. Meditate is not a, it's not this big, you got to, um, no, meditation is very simple, man. What you do is you basically put yourself in an alpha state. You relax, you breathe in, breathe out, you kind of shut your mind out, shut your ego out, the conscious mind, and then you be, you're able to receive information. So that those are my uh, daily rituals. Now, I was um I've been checking out a lot of your videos on YouTube, so I heard you had a um one in five technique you talk about. Is it like one a, now? You had a one in five technique. You said like if one negative thought come in, you think of five positive thoughts. Oh yes, yes. So yes, I was okay, gonna ask so. you about as far as like you know, sometimes uh like you know, people they might have traumatic events happen to them, so they still need to follow that same advice and use the one in five technique. Right. Yeah, so those are for beginners. All right, but so look, here's how it works. I'm gonna show you how we are programmed, all right? So there's three aspects of our minds. You have a conscious mind. That's where you have your logical, your thinking. You can plan and structure. That houses your ego. Your ego is an identity of who you think you are. You know your age, your likes, dislikes, what you're capable of doing, what your limitations are. But the ego is wrong. It's false. not true to you. So you got that part of the mind. Then we have what's called a psychological filter. The clinical name for that is known as the uh, critical divide. It serves as a barrier between the conscious and then we have the third part of the mind, which is the subconscious. So the critical divide, what it does, information that comes in from the conscious mind must agree with the subconscious. So the critical divide is going to decide. It's going to talk to the subconscious. For example, let's say you get up and you say, I think I'm rich. I, I, I'm wealthy. I want to have money. If your subconscious mind doesn't believe that, which is a limiting belief, which it holds from when you were young, if you if you grew up around your parents and family and friends, I always say, man, you got to work hard. Money don't come easy. You can't trust rich people. Rich people are evil. Okay, That becomes a belief and it stays in your subconscious. So here's what happens. Your, that's traumatic things that people in, in, in encounter. Your subconscious holds it. It doesn't release it until you know how to do it. Here's even more important. It overrides your conscious mind. It controls your actions and habits. So even if you consciously want to change, you won't do it because your actions and habits will sabotage you to keep the old program. So the one in five technique, it's a beginning for you to, be, to develop awareness. So for one, for one um, negative thought, you put about three to four positive thoughts. What that does, if you use repetition over and over, it will sink into your subconscious. It will, by, it will bypass the critical divide and get into the subconscious mind, the subconscious mind will eventually accept that as a new program, and then you'll start to change. Yeah, then I was reading, Um, I think you might have said it, but I know the, the problem with me right now is, I guess it's not a problem, but like I say, I started in like 2006 just kind of studying and researching. So now everybody I listen to is saying the same thing. It was like, I listen to you, but if I listen to somebody else, it's like every, all the knowledge is the same, so I know I'm on the right path. So now I kind of right. like get mixed up on who I'm listening to, <laughs> but they, I heard this one. Uh, this one guy was saying um, you got to use your brain more like an instrument because we're not our mind. So that's that's kind of what you're saying too. Like we got to know how to control our mind, control our thinking, like more like like I said, treat it like an instrument and not become our mind. Right. Well, okay. But here's the thing with that. Okay. A lot of individuals and there's a lot of things out there that tell you to use your mind and to use your brain. But here's the thing. No one can give you or show you a owner's manual of how your mind works. Mm. This is where I come in. Just like, think about this. You have an owner's manual for everything, man. You buy a microwave. There's an owner's manual for a microwave. Show mm. you how to use it. Yep. Nobody ever gave you when you were a kid or when we were growing up, even in the schools today. There's no owner's manual for how your mind works. If you And that's the most powerful thing because your mind creates reality through quantum physics. So if no one shows your owner's manner for your mind, you're going to be all over the place. I do that. I teach you and show you how your mind works and how to use the mind and not let the mind use you. So you're actually correct. The secret is knowing how the mind works. Once you become aware of your mind, you can use it to create your reality. Did you know that what you see right now, we're talking through this phone here and the physical thing behind me, it's actually an illusion perceived through our Retinas in our eyes. Mm. Reality is actually 
uh, 99% empty space, but we said empty space, but there's actually other particles known as uh, gluons, gluons in there. But anyway, the point is, there's no such thing as a solid material reality. Quantum physics proves that. There's no solidity. It feels solid to us because of the perception or the illusion that light plays on our, on our brain and our eyes, okay? So yeah. that's proven. That's been in science now. That's not some uh, metaphysical uh, thing here. Yeah, I was going to say, I guess, I guess like uh, the listeners, people that are listening, I guess the hardest part of everything is kind of just reprogramming your mind because especially if you was conditioned, like you were saying, because like, they said like the most critical the ages is like 8, 9, 10. So if you was conditioned down that time, you believe yeah. that. So I guess the main, how's the, what's the one of the main ways they can like start reprogramming their mind? Okay, so let's talk about how it works, okay? You're right. So when you were born, all of us, we have our subconscious mind. It's very open. So it develops what's called paradigms or belief. Here's the thing about your subconscious. It's irrational. It can't, it doesn't know the difference between right, wrong, good, evil. Everything that you get in it, it soaks it up and says, yes, this is true. This is my belief. So when we were young, between the ages of zero to eight, we are automatically wired for struggle and lack. That's how our society is composed of. Look around you. Money's hard to make. You gotta know the right connections. Da da da. Your parents, your family, they preach it, they teach it everywhere. So your subconscious mind holds that. So here's what happens. When it holds that, it runs it on an automatic pilot, like a program. So it is unconscious. So you aren't aware of it. So individuals will attempt to say, um, okay, what if I just think positive thoughts? That's not enough. Because remember that critical divide? It's going to filter information that doesn't match. So if you're thinking positive thoughts, and say, oh, I'm wealthy, I feel good. That critical divide is going to ask the subconscious, is he, are we really wealthy? Can we do this? Subconscious says, no, man, money's hard to make. Get that out of here. I don't agree with that. So it doesn't sink in. So how do you target the subconscious? You have to find a way to bypass that critical divide, that psychological filter. And here's how it comes in. So we live in an age now where science has shown us marvelous things and it, in, in respects what is known as brain wave frequencies. Our brain operates from different states of frequencies. Your subconscious is in the alpha theta state. So if you can get it to the alpha theta state, then you can bypass your critical divide. So subliminals are a great way to, to do this. If you listen to subliminals, but particularly the ones that doesn't, the words are embedded in the frequency where you can't physically hear them in your conscious mind. Because if you listen to subliminals and a guy saying, I'm wealthy, I am healthy, I am this, this I deserve that. Just can't get in your subconscious, bro. You know why? Because that critical divide is going to stop it because it doesn't agree with it. But if you listen to subliminals and the messages are embedded in the background because your subconscious mind can pick up frequencies on a lower level. So if you can't hear it, but your subconscious hear it, it sneaks past the critical divide Yes, to your subconscious. Oh, so that's saying like the, the ego can't conflict. even distinguish it because they don't ego don't hear it. Exactly. That's mm. one. That's a proven way. The next way you can remove subconscious blocks, reprogram your mind, is through meditation. But it's a very advanced uh, discipline meditation. A lot of us can't pull that off. And the sec, the third way is to bring uh, hyp hypnotherapy or hypnosis. You can go see a hypnotherapist. Uh, they can remove the blocks. Got to go a few sessions. That can be uh, expensive. But the most powerful and easiest way, man, is those subliminals. And, you know, this is what I teach and I coach. I have When I do my one-on-one -on -one sessions, I teach individuals how to target the subconscious mind. I have, I have subliminals I use particularly for them to use. Uh, but you can find these subliminals all over. They're in YouTube or everywhere. They're, they operate the alpha theta. But once you get into that state, your mind starts to change. But here's the thing now. This is not a quick fixed thing, man. Think about this. For the past 20 to 30 years, even 40 years, some of us are used to these old patterns. Your brain is fused. You have neurons and synapses that are connected and are running that program. So in order for you to change it, you have to continue to be persistent and repetitive because you have to change the neuron synapses, what we call synaptic pruning, to a new frequency. So this is why individuals give up. They do 30 days, one month, Man, this ain't working. See, they give up. But your subconscious mind works with repetition. 
you have to continue. And once he gets the information, he sees this information is important because he keeps getting picking up the pattern. It starts to change your brain. He said, please, man, your brain frequency starts to change. Then your life starts to change. So that's how you target and change your subconscious. And then I think I watched probably about 10 to 12 of your videos on YouTube so far. And I think Good. the one that kind of uh, that was like the hit me the most was the one that was you were saying you can't want anything. I thought that was very I was like, and then when I thought about it, I was like, wow. I just like how you really put that because you can't if you yeah. want it, you already got it. You can't want it. Listen, we you actually never get what you want. What happens is you allow yourself to release it to to release the resistance, and then you you align with it. Because let's go back to quantum physics, and it shows how the universe works. It's impossible for you to want this or to get to want something. Because when you do that, the okay, the universe, God, okay, the way the universe works, it works with the energy, vibration, and frequency, in particular electromagnetic frequency. The universe doesn't work with your language. When you say, I need more money, I want more money, okay? So logically, you're thinking, I'm telling God or the universe, I want more money, so I should get more money. But when you look around, your life doesn't change. You're, you're getting less money. So what's going on here? So what's the true mark? What's behind this? Here's what happens. When you say, I want more money, you give off a vibration of lack. I don't have the money because you wouldn't want the money, right? If you don't, Otherwise, you wouldn't be asking for it. So you're right. saying, I don't have money. That's why I want money. So you give off two different signals. You give off one with language in your conscious mind. The universe doesn't decode that. The one that's important is the image, or not the image, but the vibration of I don't have money. That's why I'm asking for money. So the universe doesn't know what it means to not have money because everything you have is already yours because everything is made from that one electron. You and I, your money is connected and we are all one. So to the universe, everything is yours already. You just have to learn to allow it to come to you through what we call law of attraction or, or gravitational force or just attraction of uh, the electromagnetic spectrum. So when you say, I, I want more money, you're telling the universe, I don't have it. So the vibration is that you're going to get that, which is no more money. Then you get mad. Damn. I keep I telling God I want the money, but I, I'm not getting it. Now you know why you're not getting it. Because you, the, your emotion or your vibration is saying, I don't have it. That's how the universe works doesn't work with logical thinking. It works with how we feel and how, what we interpret in our emotions. That's what we're going to attract. Then I just started studying um, like dreaming. So like, do you have any uh, research on dreams? Like what are dreams to you? Yes, yes. Dreams are your... So anytime we dream, so when we go to sleep, our subconscious is wide awake. So when we dream, it's messages from our subconscious mind. There is, it's deleting old programming. Or you get information from your higher self, superconscious mind is giving you information. And that's why some people can dream numbers in a lottery and they win. Some people can dream things that comes through because you're getting stores, you get information from a higher level of consciousness awareness. So dreaming is very powerful. And I, I can teach I teach individuals to how to lucid dream to induce it. So a lucid dream is when you're when you're dreaming, but you are aware that you're dreaming. That's very, very powerful. Because if you can, if you're dreaming and you know you're aware of your dreaming, you're in direct connection with your subconscious. So you can influence your dream to manifest quickly. Because remember, your subconscious does not know the difference between what is real or imagined. That's very, very important. I want to repeat that again. Your subconscious does not know the difference between what is real or imagined. Let me put it home for you and show you what I mean. If you... Maybe you financially don't have a lot of money, or you're not where you want to be, or you have a business, your business, you want to start a business, okay? Okay, but, but you keep thinking, and you keep feeling and visualizing that you have this successful business. Your subconscious mind believes that you have this business, even though your current reality doesn't reflect it. So what happens? There's another fact about your subconscious. It must prove you to be true as an experience what your dominant thought is. So even though you may not have the money now, but if you keep visualizing and see it, your mind says, I have to prove it to you. So I have to experience it. So your current reality must change to reflect the reality you see in your mind. 100%. It has to work. That's how you're wired. That's why it's important that individuals, you got to keep going. You don't give up. And you don't accept your reality and say, man, I can't see it's not going to change. 
That's impossible. Yeah. Because reality is what we see it. It's malleable. Yeah, I was gonna say actually I remember uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he he actually called it fake it till you make it. And he said that's actually how he did everything he did. That's how he did bodybuilding, movies, that's how he became governor. He he saw it first. So it's not really fake it till you make it, it's just, just yeah. you, you gotta believe exactly. it first. Okay, we do okay, when we say fake it, that's the wrong long language term. Right. Okay, because keep, remember, your subconscious mind doesn't know a lie or it's just, you can't lie, there's no lie, or you can lie to your subconscious, whatever you want to call it. But if you believe and you visualize something in your head, your subconscious will say believe it's true. Your conscious mind is the one that gives you the problem that says you're faking it. Your conscious mind, because it uses logic and it analyzes based on your past experience. For example, if you want to make fifty thousand or a hundred thousand dollars, and the most you ever made is thirty thousand, your conscious mind is going to tell you, "Bro, or my friend, you can't do it. It's hard. It's impossible because it can only go up to what you experience." But if you say in your mind and you visualize and you target your subconscious and said, I'm making a hundred thousand, your subconscious mind says, Yeah, I believe you. Not only does it believe you, but if you keep doing it, it has to prove it to you as an experience because your thoughts must become congruent with your reality. That's how your brain maintains sanity. Let me repeat that again. All thoughts must become congruent with your reality. That's how the mind maintains sanity. See that? And then I, I remember one of your videos, you was, you was kind of saying, like, people, they don't even dream high enough, like, their thoughts are not big enough, so whatever they want, they kind of limit their what they can get, because they yeah. say, oh, I only want $500. You could have got $5 million, you know? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. But you know what that goes to? It goes to your limiting beliefs in your subconscious. Because when we were young, we were taught to think in limits, okay? You got to get this, you got to get that, you got to go this. So your mind holds that. But the thing about your mind, my friend, is this. It is limitless. When you dream big, you're opening up your mind for awareness. So always remember, if you have a problem with deserving or dreaming, just to add, tell yourself, look, I deserve this. Because it's a fact. Abundance is your birthright. All of our birthright. This universe we live in is infinite. Science has proven that. They mapped what's called a WP map satellite. It sends a laser signal out. And they map the laser. And the laser, if the laser is one, goes one straight target with no curvature, then we know the universe is infinite. If it comes back with a curvature, we know the universe is not. It must come back to itself. This was done five, six years ago. The, um, the data came back, came back, and the universe is infinite. So now we know that everything is, goes on forever, forever, forever. So including anything you want, money is no limit. You can have a billion dollars. You could have one dollar. It's all about your belief. And I, I'm going to give you a tip to build your belief. Think about this. Think about how infinite the universe is. Think about this little planet we live on compared to everything in the universe. Do you think getting $1 million is a big thing now? Even a trillion dollars compared to the wealth of the universe? See that? So whatever you want, my friend, it's like a speck. Because the universe is so grand. That's how you build your belief. You start to think in that term. You start to use that term. You, your mind will open up, and you see the power you have. Mm. And I just want you to talk more about like um, how they can find you. Your I know you got a website, you got courses on there, you got a YouTube page. Yeah. So just tell them about your information. Right. So yeah. So the uh, so the website is uh, Mark A. Hart and Quantum Vibrational Numbers .com. You can find it through my YouTube channel. I also have the uh, Facebook group that I, I've developed to help you to learn to manifest. Uh, that's my free private group. Uh, so I have, you can join that. You can learn. And you can take advantage of my courses. I, I create a, I create different courses. I create a lot of meditation. I have courses for you to help you win the lottery that I've won. Um, I've created uh, very subliminal uh, frequencies for you. And also I coach individuals. So if you're ready to, to get that, I can teach you and break you down and teach, show you how your mind works. I remove your subconscious blocks. I teach you how to use your mind so you can attract. So my I call my formula the quantum consciousness formula. So I teach you through physics science this is very important because a lot of us we have to see the facts and the truth and it helps your conscious mind to, to digest it. so the things i teach and i put forth are 150 years of scientific study and research and facts back behind it and it's in accordance with how the mind works so if you apply the methods that i the methods that i teach you're guaranteed to be successful 
my website, I have a I have a special section for just testimonials. I have a hundreds, almost going to thousands now of testimonials of individuals who are put into forth what I'm teaching and they're using it. And you'll see your life change. So that's my that's my gift. You know, we all we all have a purpose and a gift. And so I'm my gift is to teach, to show you uh, through my experience, through the, the wisdom that I've been given from God, the universe, okay, so that you can live your best life and you can help others. And we all can prosper and um, be in high demand of love. That's the universal order. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, even like without the courses on your YouTube pages, you're giving out a lot of information for oh, free. Yeah. So what oh, makes yeah. you want to do that? Because you know, a lot of people they're like. Right. Everybody's charging right. now. They teach you how to tie your shoes a hundred dollars. <laughs> oh yeah, because you know the universe works with uh, cause and effect. So you know when you can give information out, it's gonna come back to you uh, multiplied in some form. Because if you help someone, that energy comes back to you. So yeah, you can learn a lot from my YouTube. But there's also a lot of individuals that need that guidance or that mentorship. That's where I come in. And that's where I put my personal time, and that's why I do the coaching. So, yeah, it works both sides. Some individuals may be able to grasp a lot from my YouTube, but there's other individuals who might say, hey, Mark, I need some more help. Or, this is new. I want to learn more. And that's fine because we all learn at different paces. But that's also the beauty of it. You can learn from there. Or you can get with me and we can do a one-on-one -on -one session. Or you can learn from the website and from different uh, coaching materials and audios that I put forth. So it serves a grand purpose. But I love it because that's I purposely do that because I want to show individuals that this works if you, if you do this you will get the results because it's how your brain is wired and it's how the universe is wired it's the law it's like a it's built in to the uh the dna of the universe anybody just not hearing about you through this interview what would you like to leave them with what would you like to say to them i would like okay the biggest message i like to leave you guys with is this okay that what you're seeing around your reality or what you're experiencing in your life, you can change it in an instant. It's not true reality. You have the power to a part of your mind that can process information 3 billion bits per second. That's your subconscious. If you know how to use that and target that, you can change your whole life, my friend. So you don't have to depend on this person or that your subconscious can create the life you want. So my message to your viewers and anyone's listening is learn to target your subconscious. Learn that you can change your life in an instant. You can manifest anything because it's your birthright. You can visit my YouTube channel. You can watch the videos and then you can learn. If you're ready to take it to the next level, you can contact me and I can put you on my mentorship program and I'll show you how your mind works. All right, man, I want to say thanks for coming through, Paul. Take it with me. Very good interview. Yep. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me. Thanks for listening to Popolitikin.com, a self-help meets hip-hop brand. If you are an artist or business owner wanting to be featured on Popolitikin.com, contact us at Popolitikin at gmail.com. That's P-O-P-O-L-I-T-I-C-K-I-N at gmail.com. Or text Seven six zero seven one seven five eight zero three. If you're a listener that enjoys the show and wants to support, you can donate to popolitikin.com via paypal.com. Please send donations to popolitikin at gmail.com. Any amount will be helpful in continuing to create quality content and shows. As always, check out popolitikin.com for past episodes. Make sure you subscribe to Popolitikin on iTunes, YouTube, Potomatic, Stitcher Radio, and Google Play.